The Bible in Romans chapter 8 verse 28 says, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. Now I am sure that each of us as we've gone through certain things in life, as we faced difficulties and challenges, I am sure that at one point or another, every one of us has tried to figure out how this situation we're in will work out for our good. And the thing is, as humans, we want to know all of the details. We want to know how God will make a way. We want to know exactly how God will make a way where there seems to be no way. We tend to be so focused on details. Now the Bible in Psalm chapter 34 verse 19 says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. And we can read this verse, we can recite this verse. But once we are in the middle of an affliction, we want to know exactly how God will deliver us. At precisely what time will he come to my rescue? As people, we often want all of the answers. However, I would like to encourage you and tell you that God is sovereign, meaning that he possesses supreme and ultimate power. And because he possesses all authority, all power and knowledge, this means that our part is not to question the Lord. We are not to demand answers or feel as though we are on the same level with God so that he has to explain himself. That's not the case. Our part as believers is to have faith. And having faith means we believe that God means what he says and he says what he means. If he says all things work together for my good, then my part is not to ask how, but it's to simply trust that God honours his word. If the word of God tells me that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all, then my part is to hold on by faith to this promise. With the eyes of faith, you can see the hand of God, the goodness of God, in every situation, regardless of how painful. Through faith, you begin to consider if you've been placed in this set of circumstances for a specific reason or for a specific purpose. A purpose such as unlocking a stronger desire for prayer in your life. A purpose such as awakening a hunger for righteousness and holiness like never before. Or perhaps the purpose of such a test is to expose the gifts and the calling that lays dormant inside of you. Too often, because we're focusing on the negative, we don't see the positive in a situation and we don't see what God is trying to do. Could it be that the reason for this difficulty you're facing is God wanting to reveal to you how real he is? Perhaps this is a test where God simply wants to demonstrate that he is Jehovah Jireh, your provider. Or perhaps he wants to demonstrate his strength and kindness to you. Whatever the purpose of this trial you're in, I encourage you to do your part. Your part is to believe. It's to hold on in faith and look to Jesus. Now let us pray. Heavenly Father, I bow down before you and I acknowledge you to be the great I am. You, King Jesus, can still perform miracles on this earth today. 
I pray that the Holy Spirit would teach us how to change our perspective. Help us to learn how to walk by faith and not by sight. Open our spiritual eyes and change the way that we see things. Remove the scales from our eyes and give us a renewed mind. Fill us with the Holy Spirit. Fill us with boldness and courage. Lord, help us to be believers who stop asking when will things turn around for my good. But instead, may we be a people who wait faithfully on you, Lord. May we be the type of believers who ask what you want me to learn in this storm. And during tough situations, help us to remember that although the afflictions of the righteous are many, you are a God who delivers us out of them all. So instead of speaking about the negative, instead of focusing on the negative, give us a mind that meditates on the good things that are promised in the Bible. Give us a mind that holds on to your promises. Promises such as Psalm 34 verse 17, which says when the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. We praise you, Lord Jesus, because in this fight, you are in our corner. You are fighting the battle for us. I declare your promise in Exodus 14 verse 14, which says the Lord will fight for you and you have only to be silent. Lord Jesus, you are all powerful and we can safely declare that he who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. Our hearts do safely trust in you. And as we call out the name of Jesus Christ to intervene, we stand on your word in Nahum chapter 1 verse 7, which says, The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. He knows those who take refuge in him. You are indeed a stronghold in the day of trouble. And my prayer today, in agreement with everyone listening, is that your holy power would change and transform our carnal mindsets. Would you shift our perspective, Lord? Activate and unlock a higher level of faith in us. Lord Jesus, we give you all of the glory. Let this storm become a testimony and a demonstration of your saving grace. Lord, we declare that as sons and daughters of the Most High God, we are overcomers. In you, Lord Jesus, we are more than conquerors. Our physical eyes might not see it yet, but I pray that you would activate our spiritual eyes, our eyes of faith, so that we can see your hand leading us protecting us and shielding us from evil. Father, I know that there is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is enough power to remove every barrier and obstacle before us. And for that we praise you. Lord, I ask that you continue to work in our lives. Continue to order our steps into a greater level of maturity as believers. May the Holy Spirit continue to work within us, to teach us that before we go anywhere else searching for solutions, before we look elsewhere for answers, in Jesus we have all that we need. In Jesus we have all the answers that we could ever need. In Jesus we have the power to move mountains. We have a God who performs miracles. A God who can make a way where there seems to be no way. 
the God of the impossible is our Lord. I bless your precious name. I thank you for listening to this prayer. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ I pray. Amen.